You're not gonna clean your entire home with this thing. That's not what it's about, and it's not what it's designed for. Uh, Black & Decker is a tool company. That's what they make. Your vacuum cleaner is a tool. So here's the thought. Instead of having to reach out and grab that big 14, 15 pound upright vacuum that you're using maybe once or twice a week, when you've got a little spill and it's three Cheerios on the ground, the only option that you really had before was, was to grab a dustpan and brush. But if you've got a bigger mess, you know, you kicked over the potted plant, dropped a bag of sugar, I've done both, you never get it clean with a dustpan or brush. You're always gonna have that line of demarcation of dirt. And then you just keep sweeping it backwards a little bit at a time. This is rechargeable and battery operated. It's a swivel sweeper that works really well. The on off button is right on the, the top so that you don't even have to bend down. You just step on it to clean. And I'm gonna lift this up. I want you to see what's going on underneath. You've got beater bars that are working. Here we go. Beater bars that are working on three different sides. Here, a big long one, and here. And all of this is a big dust cup. So now what it's doing is it's grabbing the dirt, pulling it in, you get your small messes cleaned up very quickly, and then you're still gonna use your big vacuum every once in a while, but this is gonna sure cut down on a lot of time. This has been very, very popular. $44.98 brings it to you. That's under our QVC price. We're in, in a President's Day sale. Like every other retailer, we look for excuses to lower prices and have some fun. Those prices, some of them are as much as 30% off, and we've got thousands of items that we're gonna be dealing with. So those prices are gonna go away at the end of Monday, which is the end of President's Day. You saw Christopher Joyce earlier in the program. He is truly my cleaning expert. Let's go back to his kitchen and say hello again. Christopher, how are you? Hey, Dan, I actually hey, moved there's the living, living room, room here. <laughs> <laughs> we moved. Yeah, because I have, I, I have a hand knotted rug here and a hardwood floor, and I could put down a little mud mat. And so I just wanted to show you how truly versatile this is. This weighs two pounds. And honestly, it's so easy to store. They even give you a magnet so it can be stored upright if you need to. Yep. But this is my go-to on every single day basis when you don't want to bring out that big, heavy vacuum. As you said, it's not meant to replace the big vacuum, but boy, we get messes every single day. And this is the perfect tool that I can simply jet around my house. If company's coming or somebody else is coming, I can get up against the sofa, underneath the sofa, on this hand knotted rug, watch this. It even lays flat so I can go underneath that little coffee table, no problem at all. And then as you referenced, I have some coffee beans here on this rug. Watch this, I'm gonna clean the coffee beans going forward, first of all, and then I'm gonna go side to side, and that's the beautiful thing. There are brush rolls on the front, so you can go front and back, side to side, and then because of those sliders and gliders, watch how I can easily transition to the hardwood floor and pick up all those little snack crackers, and if you're a pet owner, you gotta love this, because every single day, whether it's the kitty litter box or the kibbles and bits, it's gonna swivel around, 360 degrees, picking up all that mess, and it's gonna just make your job and your day so much easier. Take a look at this. I want to demonstrate, first of all, see how I just use my toe, Dan? Yep. To turn it on and off. I don't need to get near the mess. But here's the thing. I put a little throw rug here to show you that if you used a traditional vacuum on this, it would actually pull up the rug as well as the dirt. With a sweeper, you don't have to worry about that. But yet, look at the power behind this. Those brush rolls do an incredible job of picking up all that dog hair, cat hair, pet hair. And you know, Dan, one of the most difficult things for a vacuum is indeed all that hair. Look at that, it's gone. And no, th it's this, pick this up is my favorite things. demonstration. A anybody who's ever tried to pick up one paper clip with their big vacuum, and you can yeah, run over that, one, you can run over that 15 times and it just rattles around. But this, and, that just yep. picked up an entire row of paper clips. That's your most impressive demo in my mind, Christopher. Thank you. Now watch this. Again, I'm keeping my hand away from the mess, and then when we come back, I'll, I'll empty this and show you how easy it is to empty. But I love the fact that it is truly fully featured. It swivels 360 degrees. Okay. It's going to go underneath your furniture and behind your furniture gonna clean up all the pet hair, the dog hair, and I love that it's a multi-surface cleaner. Just like in my living room, I went from the hand-knotted rug, I went to the throw mat, I went to the hardwood, no problem at all. 
The multi-surface cleaning probably for me is probably my favorite part about it. You have those three rotating brushes, which allow you to clean not only forward and back backward, but also side to side. We've, we've sold tens of thousands of these over the years. Christopher, I need people to understand that featured price will be going away. And I, okay. only, I only have 350 of these left to take ah. us through our spring cleaning season. This will be the vacuum cleaner that I think the average person reaches for the most often. You're not going to do every square inch of your home with this. But it's the little messes that build up starting in the morning at breakfast and throughout the day that make you have to get that big vacuum out for that big twice a week cleaning. With this now, you can go ahead and get the, the messes cleaned up quickly and simply. You had mentioned kibbles and bits. Christopher, yeah. when I moved to San Francisco after high school, dead broke, yeah. dead broke. I was up for a national commercial to be the, the voice of the dog on the kibbles and bits commercial. And, and it was and between bits and bits and bits. <laughs> kibbles and bits, kibbles and bits. I'm gonna get me some kibble. That was it was between me and one other guy. I lost right. out because the producer said oh. I just didn't sound enough like a talking dog. Now I don't know what <laughs> okay. he based his decision on, but I lost out to that commercial. Yeah, I'm not sure what a talking dog sounds like. <laughs> exactly. That's a really good point. But. <laughs> But here, I wanted to show you how to empty it, Dan. And I'm going to go over here to my second camera in order to do that, just to show you how easy it is. So I have a little waste can here. And what again, just like with the toe touch to turn it on and off, you do not need to get near the mess. So look at this. I'm just going to hit the tabs on the top here on the count of three. One, two, three. Yep. And the mess is gone. And then you simply put it back on the ground and you start cleaning once again. Tap your toe and watch this. I'm going to make all that dog hair, the cat hair, the pet hair vanish. And I know that was the most impressive demonstration you thought was the paper clip, so I thought, let's find something else to put down here. I put some cereal. Again, that's something that often still spills on a daily basis. Look what a great job again. It swivels 360 degrees. Yep. It's picking up front and back. And here I'm gonna show you even side to side. So it's picking up all those little candies. Yeah, it doesn't so need really, wheels. It's got these little gliders on them that does that's the job. Right. Yeah. And the three beater bars, the big one in the front, and one on each side, means that dirt can't really hide from it. I had said that we had about 350 of these to go around. Already we've had 100 people on the phone lines. So thank you. These, these may go during this presentation. Uh, and it's Black & Decker, so you know mm -hmm. what a great job they do with tools. I also appreciate that there's no cord. Just unwrapping that cord is, is what takes half the time for me to, to vacuum my living room because it's not that big. This is small enough that it just, it can hang on a hook and weighs it. What did you say the weight was? Two pounds? Yeah, it's two pounds, Dan. You know, it's really funny that you referenced that cord thing because I was just upstairs. I did bring out the big heavy vacuum upstairs recently, right. actually the other day. And you're right. That is why I don't do it very often because it's that cord. Yeah. But with this, you're not tethered to the cord. And get this, it has 50 minutes of runtime. So I can go all around the house and watch this. I can't even come off where the fringe is here on my rug. And I'm not pulling up the fringe. Nice. Again, I'm not using suction. And yet I can get underneath my entertainment center here. I can get all those areas that I want to across the throw rug. I'm not picking up the throw rug because it's not using suction. And then I can transition to the hardwood floors to pick up all, as you say, the kibbles and bits and bits and bits. Look at that. Yeah, the Easy, difference between simple, a vacuum and fast, a sweeper efficient. is a vacuum has suction. A sweeper uses exactly. a series of... of of rollers and brushes to sweep things. Like a, a street cleaner has no vacuum capability, but it gets the street That's clean because point. it's yep. using the sweeper. Yeah, it means mm -hmm. you're also not drawing very much energy. But I just love the fact that, I wanna show you here on this, this close up camera, look at how the sliders and gliders, see these, sl these sliders and gliders? Mm -hmm. That's what's allowing me to easily transition between um, the, all the different surfaces. And then when I turn this on, you're seeing the brush rolls on three sides. So I love the fact that you can get underneath a toe kick or up against the baseboard. Sometimes you can't even do that with your regular vacuum. Sometimes the regular vacuum won't allow you to pick up that dirt that's against the baseboard. With this sweeper, you're gonna have no problem yeah. doing that. It's, it's a brilliant little tool. I, I'm not trying to replace your vacuum. I'm not trying nope. to tell you that, you know, you need to get rid of it. We all have our own favorite shark, you know, our own favorite brands, whether it be Shark or, or, or the rest. This is just a way of accessorizing your arsenal towards dirt. 
and it's the little itty bitty things that happen every day that make a little bit of a mess that wouldn't it be nice to be able to just take care of that very quickly and simply 250 yeah, and that's left that's it and i don't know with global supply i don't know when i'll get them back in big names like black and decker are usually a little easier to deal with but man it's been tough to get almost anything with a rechargeable battery lately yeah, and you're getting 50 minutes of runtime, 5-0 runtime. If you're using it for 50 minutes, you probably should have brought out the big heavy vacuum. It's easy to store. It's easy to use. It's lightweight. It only weighs two pounds. Yeah. And I think you said, yeah, we're down to one color. In fact, I think I'm not even using the right yeah, color. What, what color do you have right now? I think this is red. You okay. Know what? Yeah, it's we're really down, we're down to left. just the charcoal. The just two the of our charcoal. other colors had already sold out, telling you how popular it is. And this is one of the things yeah. I've got to tell you that I really respect about QVC2 is they'll take an item that has been remarkably successful. Normally when you've got a, something that you know is selling well, there's no reason to mark it down. You know, supply right. and demand. But QVC2, mm -hmm. they marked it down a few extra bucks. That'll save you $5. But $5, come on, right now, that's a gallon of gas. That's going to get you a few miles, right? So I respect that thought process. Uh, it is always nice to have you with us, Christopher. Multiple surfaces, so it doesn't matter whether it's a hardwood floor, whether no. you've got a, an area rug like this. It's the way to get things clean, faster, simpler, and easier. Always good to have you with us, my friend. Thank you. I really appreciate you. You have a wonderful afternoon and a great weekend, Dan, my friend. Uh, I'll tell you what, Christopher, we, I'm tell, being told we've got a little bit more time. Do you want to do one more oh. demo? Yeah, absolutely. I actually threw some stuff down on my rugs here. And on a bang. So. Yeah. <laughs> and Go on for a bang, it. Grand right? finale. And, and look what I did for you. I put paper clips down again because you love that demo because you're right. This is probably something you would not want to put in your regular vacuum. And look how easily it picked that up. And then go to the pet hair, the cat hair, the dog hair. Remember, it's picking up 360 degrees, brush rolls on all three sides, and then to end on a bang for the pets, for the pet owners, look at this. Every single day you have pet messes. This is going to help you do that without breaking out that big, heavy vacuum. And we're done, Dan. Beautiful. Uh, Christopher Joyce, thank you, my friend. I will talk to you again very, very soon. You be well. Indeed. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Ciao. Uh, Bye -bye. My new home, happy to be here. Mondays and Fridays from noon to 3 here on QVC2. Uh, thank you for your comments on Facebook. When I get back to my dressing room, I'll check those out. Uh, it's always good to be here on a Friday. Enjoy your day. David Venable coming your way with today's uh, bonus buy. Do that in just a little bit. Bye-bye.